Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Google Chrome browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Google Chrome to your device. First of all, you will have to get an app called the Loader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device and here in the search bar, we'll need to start typing the Loader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on Downloader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We'll still need to set it up. So in order to actually stop Downloader, we gotta go to Settings right here by clicking on that gear icon, then go to the bottom and click on My Fire TV. Open it. From here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right there. Let's open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you'll have to scroll down until you find the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here. We have opened it and there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Norway right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So once again, we go back to the list of apps on your device, and finally open up the loader, which is right here. Now, after the website has opened for us, on the left side menu, you'll have to click Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and then in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be to 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code should be 28907, make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the web page is loaded, we'll need to scroll down a bit until you find that list of categories. And from the list, 
what we have to do is click on the browsers. Here we are, web browsers, we gotta click on that category, and now a list of apps is going to appear, and from here you'll find the Google Chrome link. So now let's click on Google Chrome, after that and add might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on that little X right here and now a new web page should load for us. Yep, there it is. We also have to scroll down until we find the download for our TV Android TV button. That's the button we are going to use. But if for some reason it doesn't work, and the download doesn't start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now let's click on download, and in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it should not take too long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I do have a pretty fast connection, so it will take us only a couple of seconds to download the Google Chrome browser. Now we'll need to click on the installation button, so click install, and in a couple of moments, Google Chrome browser will get installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using. And now, after the app was installed, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on Delete, and then Delete once again. This way, we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default, you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Let's open it, wait until it loads for you. And then of course, scroll down to the bottom, and there you'll find the Google Chrome browser, which we just loaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, Google Chrome browser is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.